everybody it's Sharon here welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time so I've decided to turn the camera on I've really missed my paper crafting so I hope you're all fabulous I am in case you're wondering um so okay let's cut straight to the chase so as you know I'm working on my Wonderland journal and it's a children's journal and it's taking me back to my childhood a little bit. Um, in actual fact, the last journal I did was a children's journal as well. So I kind of am playing with children or childhood memories, childhood um, games and visuals and all of that sort of thing. And thinking about this journal, I don't know if you all remember the good old chatterbox that we used to <laughs> giving away my age maybe um that we used to that some people used to play with as children so i've got one here and of course you pop your fingers in there and when it's sitting correctly <laughs> i literally just had it going oh my goodness okay Okay, let's try that again. So I don't know if you all remember the chatterbox that we used to play with as children or some people used to play with as children. Well, I've created one here and of course you put these around and you can open it up and look at things that were written inside. So I'm thinking I'm going to create one for this journal and use it as a journaling card. So let's have a play with that. And so wh what I'm thinking is perhaps it could just be folded like this and sat in a pocket as is. So when I decorate it, I'm kind of going to keep that in my, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a couple and decorate them differently. I haven't decided, but not everybody will know what a chatterbox is and because I am gifting this journal I can obviously explain that to the recipient but if you were using it in a journal that perhaps you wouldn't have a conversation with the recipient about you could actually just decorate it individually and they can just open it out is what I'm thinking. Anyway, before I get to that, so I've taken the chatterbox. I'm hoping I can do all of this in an hour, but yeah, you know me. I'm not always very good at it. I've taken the chatterbox and I've kind of broken it down a little bit. So I have a couple of different ideas that I want to play with. So I've got just a simple square and I folded the corners in. And I'm thinking I can use that as a pocket. And well, let's just start with this one, okay? Um, I do have to make it a little bit smaller. This is my trial. So when I open up my signature page and pop it in there, it's just a fraction too big. Now, I believe I made this one. I think it was about eight and a quarter. So I'm thinking maybe seven and a half. Hmm. It's kind of hard to get a visual of how. I might make it seven. We'll try seven. I could always make a second one if I need to. Okay, so as we know, my paper cutter doesn't always cut straight, but I'm going to use it to cut my paper and I'm going to make this just out of tea dyed paper I've decided um, so seven inches just making sure you can see so we just want a square that is seven by seven 
and my paper cutter isn't necessarily sharp at the moment because well i keep replacing the blades and they keep getting blunt really quickly and i haven't replaced it again because it's kind of starting to cost me a little so that's that i'm just clean away my mess so i don't care if the edges are a little bit shabby um i like the vintage i'm okay with it being a little bit uneven and ragged and i'm going to ink it anyway you have been warned okay so we're folding corner to corner I'm interested to know how many of you out there actually remember the Chatterbox, whether you've ever used one before. They were quite the rage when I was at school. And this is not quite folded straight, so I'm just, I really just need a guide so that I know where middle is, where center is. Um, and I am decorating the outside anyway, so... If it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter. I might get my bone folder. Oops. Yeah, so I don't know how many of you will remember using the chatterbox, but that was my inspiration for this idea. Okay, and as you see, I'm not going to get perfect corners, even though I'm trying when I know it's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so let's pop that in the signature. I just want to check and see my size. Oh, yes, that's fabulous. So what I'm thinking is when I, when I pop it down, I can glue around the outside and pop it in as... A pocket or you could have it as a side pocket you could possibly even do it as a tuck and I may do more than one and change them up a little bit I haven't decided but um, we'll see we'll do this and we'll see how it goes so what I'm thinking is if I decorate the outside triangles and then essentially all of that inside is kind of hidden journaling space and I will need to come up with a solution to close. But let's have a play. And I'm going to, of course, be using my antique papery. They seem to be my main feature. And I just love them. And see if I can find some papers that I would like to use. I'm wondering if well, I could probably use that actually. Okay. So because I have a scrap here that is pretty much the exact size of piece that I'm working with I'm just going to utilize that I think and I do want a little bit of a border around the edge now which ruler I'm just thinking this one I can see through this one <laughs> got myself all flustered okay Having this line down the center also helps me to hopefully, <laughs> hopefully have a slightly straight line is what I was going to say. And then I was like, um, you're videoing, people are going to see. <laughs> okay. And... So 
So I'm hoping that if I go corner to corner, it's not necessarily going to be easy to tear. Oh no, that didn't do too bad. Sorry, I just had a funny feeling it wasn't videoing. Okay, and then... I'm kind of hoping I can line these up at the same time and do corner to corner and that will work okay. Fingers crossed. Okay, so hopefully I think they should fit okay. So, you know what we have to do next, guys? My poor old Inca. And I didn't actually check my ink to see if it was juicy enough before I started. I do have... I purchased one of these makeup sponges. I have no idea how... It works, but I thought I'd give that a go because I just haven't got around to purchasing more of the pads for my re-inker. Uh, for my inker, sorry. You know, those pads. <laughs> I must say, this is quite comfortable to hold too. Not that the Tim Holtz one isn't, but I wasn't sure if it would be like feel really fat in my hands so therefore being awkward but quite the opposite and I think I only paid a couple of dollars for for this little makeup sponge so I actually forgot I purchased it I've had it sitting in my in my cupboard for quite some time I was like is this even working I wasn't questioning the sponge, I was questioning my ink and whether or not it was juicy enough. a yellowy look which is rather odd I'm like is it the right one but it is
Okay. I do feel like I need to re-ink my inker. It's got like a yellow tinge. Not overly happy with that. So I'll probably re-ink my inker and then go back around it, I think. Okay, so my glue book. I'm going to try and be sensible and use it on the right-hand side because I'm right-handed. Um, and I've got my Bostic glue stick because that's my glue stick of choice. And I might take that one away. <laughs> and then I moved that and I was like, now, which one was it? So just gluing these down, a very simple little idea. I'm just wondering myself whether I want to add any sort of um, focal point on the front. But I might work out my enclosure first and then decide. So I've been watching lots of the 10 crafty questions videos lately and oh my gosh, I'm enjoying them so much. It's really fun to hear people's answers to, I think my favourite question out of all of the questions is how people came about their YouTube name. I'm finding that really fascinating because so many people out there have some fascinating stories about where their YouTube name came from. Um, the backstory behind the name I'm just finding really, really fun. So, and some people are being very brave and putting themselves in front of the camera. I'm really sorry to all of my subscribers. I, <laughs> I still feel like I'm fairly new to the whole YouTube vibe and I just don't know how I feel about putting myself out there like that. I have wondered if I should, but way out of my comfort zone i have to actually to be fair doing that video in the first place put me out of my comfort zone and i don't know whether it's partly because i'd actually had time away from the camera and and my crafting when i was nominated so i kind of came home and i did that video was one of the first videos i did after returning so, um, yeah, the idea of putting myself out there, it just, it was very overwhelming and, and I was just like, yeah, maybe not, maybe not. Okay. So that's my little pocket. And then you open up and there is journaling space. As I said, I'm going to re-ink my inker. Actually, I will do that now because it can be sitting while... while I'm crafting with you all. And I'm just going to leave that sit and soak. Um, I don't think I've re-inked it since I was away. So it probably needed some love. I do use it an awful lot. I feel like I just want that to fold. Again, I'm re-inking, so that's okay. 
So an enclosure. Um, I'm thinking I want to keep it relatively simple. So I'm so sorry about that. I was like, I'm sure I have some scraps cardstock, brown cardstock somewhere. So I just wanted to get that. And 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 I'm looking for. Hmm, actually, that could be fun. Okay. So I have a one inch punch and I have a scalloped edge punch. So I think I want to hmm. I'm just trying to work out. I don't think that will work. Like I thought it would. So I need to rethink. Hmm. What did I use last time? Gosh, you guys, I have been away for a while. Um. And you know when you think you're going to do something really, really quickly and then it doesn't happen. So, hmm, that's a fun idea. Okay, let's try this. This is going to be too big. We'll try it. Oh, and I will need to ink these. So, I just stitched myself up there, didn't I? think do I want to I don't know if I want the sturdiness of gluing two together um let's just try Oops, sorry, shaking the table. I'm like I just get it where I think it's lined up and then I see where it's not but that could be because I have the scallop at a different angle between the top and the bottom that's what I'm telling myself anyway and I do like it that thickness I think so I'm going to make two like that okay So I'm thinking if I attach them, okay, I've got nothing to lose, have I, if I try it, a couple of pieces of cardboard. So I want to cut trying to get a visual here at an angle I don't want to go too far so 
So that one will go on. Where are my hands? So I'm thinking this will go on this way. And oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have. Hang on. And this will go on this way. So I'm kind of lining my cut mark with the edge of the triangle. And then when they're closed, they can. Why won't that open? Oh my goodness, isn't that fun? Now I just have to make it work. <laughs> Okay, so, so, and that holds both the top and bottom as well as the sides together. I would like to decorate the top somehow if I can. Um... Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking through my my scrap folder. I've got my glue book in the way, otherwise I'd move it across further. And I kind of don't want to mess that up because I want something a little bit I don't know, I'm thinking maybe a little bit contrasty. I just thought about putting butterflies somehow, but then I was like, I've got to cut into their wing and that won't make me very happy. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Okay. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I feel like I should have printed some more antique papery papers because I'm running out of scraps. Well, I'm running out of scraps that I want to use. What about a yellow? Hmm. No, I'm not really feeling that. Just some book paper or music. Music paper might be fun. Now I did have some scrap music paper somewhere. Where did I put that? Maybe I put it. Well, I just happened to have this sitting next to me. So let's try that. I think I like it. And I want the busy notes. Just looking to see where I want to cut. That one, I think. Okay, I wonder how my ink is going because, oh yes, it's still got a ways to go. Why do I do this? To, I always do this to myself, guys. I do it when the camera isn't on as well. I fill up my inker and I'll keep 
crafting and then all of a sudden I go, oh, I, I need to use that. Okay, so I may just do it like that and see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, my glue is still wet. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. I really want to ink. See, that's just not working for me. I'm going to regret this, guys. Oh, that's dark. Isn't that delicious? So I'm just, I've just interlocked my closure to work out roughly where it will sit so I can work out which way around I want these to sit. Actually, I might attach these to here.
Okay, so I'm thinking I want to take just a fraction more out of there. That's easier. That looks really yellow. I'm wondering if it's the colour in my sponge. I think I'm going to go back to <laughs> my old faithful. It's just not working for me at all. So, I really want to re ink. Can you see the difference? See how yellow it looks? I feel like there's colour coming out of my makeup sponge. That's crazy different. Okay, so let's re ink. It's a little bit more vintage there than in other places. Never mind. Okay, so... Oh, I need to work out. So I'm following that line. Using a non-directional paper in the middle would make it much easier. But that wasn't something I thought of at the time. And I will just cut that little piece out.
Okay, so I'm going to use my fabric glue. Where is my fabric glue? Whoops, whoops. <laughs> oh dear. Was in that spot again. Okay. Try that again. Whoops. So I'm just spreading that with my finger to get as close to where I want the glue as possible. Sorry, I'm just scraping across the edge here where I don't want the glue and then oops shifted I think I want it up there. I don't even remember where now. Oh, goodness. Okay, so by the look of it, I needed this line here in line with my triangle to get the right placement. So that's good to know for future reference. In the meantime, I have glue stuck where I didn't want it.
So if it's this one. I think I'm going to pop some glue here. And then and let's hope, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Let's hope that is where I want it. Okay, so I have damaged the paper slightly there, so I'm wondering if okay. So I've just got some cheesecloth. I think I might put a little piece of that on either side just to soften. Trying to work reasonably quick before my glue sets too much. Um, And then this side. A little bit of seepage there that was closing that side. And then so again, just trying to separate this slightly.
Okay, so there you have it. I will zoom a little closer for you. So as you can see, I love the fact that the cheesecloth has added a little bit of softness, a little bit of texture and um, fabric to our final pocket. And then this will be glued down either here or here, creating either a top pocket or a side pocket. And while it's in the book, they can easily unlock that and open it up for extra journaling space. Lots of fun. I love that. Oh, oops. Anyway, I hope you're all having fun creating whatever you are. And I look forward to seeing you all soon, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye for now.